in my head They counsel me They understand They talk to me For me, it took five, six years before I really felt comfortable coming to the ring with that look in my eyes and having that attitude, not being like a funny heel, but being kind of a, you know, I, I, I have the ability to get beat up, but at the same time, when it's time to kick someone's ass, I do it just as good or better than anybody. And you can, you don't have to see me punching anyone. You can just look here and you know that there's some effed up going on in this guy's head. You know, it's that it factor that you can't read in a manual on how to get, how to obtain can't teach it you can try and maybe you'll get through but a lot of guys just kind of realize it for themselves pick it up and, and do it you, you as a child you know you're not picking up the technical aspects of in-ring you know training and psychology and stuff like that locker room etiquette what you're picking up as a kid is just a love for the business seeing your dad hang out with the buddies in the locker room and talk and laugh and have a good time Get in the car with your dad and drive 200 miles, fall asleep, and have him carry you to the hotel room. And uh, it's just, it's great. You get a love for the business, a love for the road. You, you kind of get the uh, the idea of, of, wow, you know, one day, you know, is this what I could be? Is this what I could do? So I, I see a future wrestling where, where everyone's, it's, it's a family business. You got like a dozen guys who grew up in the business. You know, that is awesome. One day we're going to be, it's going to be overrun by second and third generation wrestlers. All of your bankers will have losses, politicians all alive. Uh, honestly, my favorite video game uh, that I got to play a lot while I was injured recently is Mario Kart. I, I was big into God of War, uh, fighting games like Mortal Kombat. Loved the, the sequence of the game where you can finish the guy and the codes where you could pause it to where the guy's just knocked out on his feet for as long as you need to get the buttons right to get his head sliced off or pull his spine up out of his body, you know, and just see it dangling or all the different, it's so innovative, so fun to do. I don't know, does that make me weird? <laughs> I think a lot of that has to do with like, when I'm in the ring, for instance, you know, I don't, I'm not thinking, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna spill blood on the ring canvas? You know, but I'm thinking as a fan, you know the match has gotta end at some point and that's gonna be usually 95% of the uh, time a finishing move. You know, our finishing moves are toned down a little bit. It's real life here. But, you know, that's that moment. That's that, like, you know, adrenaline pumping moment that you're waiting for. When the Batista bombs hit, when an RKO happens, a Stone Cold Stunner, Super Kick, Shawn Michaels, you know, what have you. The STFU, I mean, everyone's got them, or a couple of them, just like on Mortal Kombat. Just like, you know, just like forever. My dad had the superplex, you know. Forever ago, I mean, oh my God, everyone's got their finishing moves. So that's what you're looking for. That's what you're looking to do. And that's the same excitement that we try to get out of the fans when we're about to hit our finishing move, like I felt playing that Mortal Kombat game. This is Randy Orton, the legend killer, and you're watching the WWE on IGN. You got your rules and your religion All designed to keep you safe 